Right before I hit the record button to do this video, my guides told me to address something that happened in someone's dream last night. So this dream experience could have been conscious or it could have been unconscious, which means that your soul may have had some kind of experience here, which I'm feeling for many of you, this is a kind of telepathic experience with another soul that may have actually entered your dream or connected with you in consciousness while you were sleeping. Now, again, you might remember this dream, you might not remember this dream, but if this video is for you, Regardless of whether or not you consciously remember it, you most likely woke up thinking about this person or this situation or feeling a kind of strange emotion that you couldn't really place. So this video is timeless. Whenever you align with the thumbnail and the title of the video, there may be a message here for you. Do keep in mind that I channel many different people, situations, and connections throughout these videos. So always use your intuition and only take what connects with you personally. So the first card that fell out of the deck as I was beginning to shuffle is the crown chakra card. This is a highly spiritually charged card. And so what I'm getting is something about this dream or sleep time experience, if it was unconscious for you, was highly spiritual in nature with throat chakra reversed at the bottom of the deck. If this involved another person, this involved someone that you are not in communication with or that you are in very unpredictable, sporadic communication with in the physical world. If you do speak to this person physically, this throat chakra reverse card is coming out here because the communication you do have with this person physically is very shallow compared to what is going on at a deeper level. So it doesn't really truly reflect how this person is feeling or what this connection really is at a deeper level. So I feel as though this person may have came to you in a dream or connected with you while you were sleeping in the consciousness because they wanted to gain some kind of information or clarity from you. So if you do remember this dream, it may have involved some kind of a conversation with this person. With the Blossoming Abundance card in the upright position, this person may be involved in starting some kind of new endeavor or taking a new turn in their life. And it seems that in the physical realm, this person really values your expertise, your advice. I'm sensing a lot of admiration from them, but the ironic thing is about this, I don't feel that they necessarily express this admiration they feel for you in the physical world. So... Why did this person visit your dream? Yeah, they see you as the angel of strength, someone who is very confident, also very stable and grounded in the physical world. So something that you've done, some kind of transformation you've made within yourself is showing in a really physical way. And the person I'm channeling into here is picking up that you've transformed something in your life. They're beginning to see this in a visible way, not just to feel it spiritually and energetically. They are quite literally seeing you undergo some kind of radical transformation. And regardless of what you are transforming about your physical world, your body, your work, your finances, whatever this is for you, at the core of that transformation is this up-leveling in your sense of confidence. And that confidence seems to be what this person admires the most about you. However, the lion on this card is 
really standing out to me here. There's a lion standing in front of the angel on the card. And I'm getting that this person sees you as being a bit unapproachable at this time in the physical because they can tell that you are highly protected along this path of undergoing however you have been transforming yourself. And the thing is, why this person may have come to you in a dream instead of approaching you physically is because with the temple path card reversed and the financial constraints card, this is someone who perceives themselves as being a bit out of alignment in the physical world, being really stuck in some kind of negative thought pattern or cycle that they seem to be having trouble getting out of. Now, I do sense this also plays into why their soul wanted to connect with you in consciousness in this way because this person really desires to get out of this negative patterning or this lack mentality that they have and to really realign with that temple path card which represents the soul's highest path for many of you when i say that this person connected with you in a dream or in consciousness in many cases they were not necessarily doing this intentionally it's just that they have this higher level soul intention to break free of some kind of negative pattern or cycle and they also have this unconscious awareness that you are someone who has either been through a similar cycle or you are someone who has a kind of wisdom or information that could assist them in kind of breaking out of this loop in their life. Now, for some of you, this could be a friend, this could be a platonic situation. For others of you, this may be a romantic situation, but with the service card reversed, part of why this person didn't come forward in the physical realm and connected with you instead in a dream is because they feel like they'd be doing you a disservice somehow if they were to reach out physically. I'm hearing distraction. So maybe they feel as though you are someone who's in a really happy, confident, stable state of being. And with happiness reversed, they don't want to burden you or detract from your happiness. This person does feel trapped within something as well. So if this is a romantic situation, it may be that there's another reason they didn't come forward physically because they could be in some kind of karmic dynamic cycle situation of sorts that they feel is restricting their ability to come towards you. I'm seeing eyes on them. So there may be family members, friends, societal pressures. It feels like there's some kind of pressure or person in this person's life that may not necessarily agree with them communicating with you physically. This will not be for everyone. I feel that may relate more so if this is a romantic situation. There may be some kind of karmic pressure here around this person in the 3D that is preventing them from communicating with you in the physical world. I heard blocked. So there could even be an instance where one or the other of you had the other blocked either over the phone or on social media. This also could just mean that energetically, it seems as though this person has been trying to block you out because of not wanting to detract from your happiness, because of not really knowing what to do with this desire to communicate or reach out here. So I'm going to go ahead and reshuffle some of the cards. I want to know what this dream was like, what the nature of this dream was. I heard conversation. So for those of you who remember the dream consciously, it seems like this was a conversation. And if you don't remember the dream consciously, this word conversation means that there was some kind of telepathic energetic communication taking place between your souls at this higher self level during that astral realm experience or meeting that the two of you had with contract reversed sitting on the crown chakra this conversation between the souls here may have been related to some kind of karmic 
contract or cycle that this person is trying to break out of? What is this cycle they are trying to break out of? Once again, we have financial constraints upright. So there is something in their life that they feel is highly restrictive or limiting. And I'm going to pull a few specific cards from the traditional tarot here. What are these constraints? Of course, these may manifest differently from person to person. Okay, we have the Two of Cups reversed. So this is about two people in a state of imbalance or disharmony. So I'm picking up that this could be a karmic relationship in this person's life where they are feeling very emotionally disconnected from the person and yet they are still in this relationship or situation that they're really desiring to escape from or to find freedom from with the eight of swords reversed. I'm just hearing something about an unhappy couple or an unhappy relationship here. Now for others of you, this card could actually symbolize that because of whatever limiting pattern or cycle this person is in, they may actually fear that to try and come together with you in a relationship or something of that sort would be a disservice to you because it wouldn't be equal in the sense that you seem to be in this place of greater stability, confidence, thriving, and this person perceives themselves still being more so in a limiting mentality, in a lack mentality. Can I get more information on how this person is feeling? Okay, so they're seeing you as the queen of cups. I'm also getting there's something about this person through the dream experience they may have had connecting themselves to their own emotions because what I'm getting is this is someone who may have a difficult time hearing their own emotional guidance, really connecting with themselves emotionally. I'm hearing I don't even really know what I'm feeling because I've been out of touch with my own emotions for so long. They perceive you as being someone who is very much in touch with their emotions. And so they may have come to you in this dream to really get your advice or guidance on how they can better connect with their internal self. For the other person here, this dream experience was something that they awoke from with a greater level of clarity around what they are actually feeling emotionally that they may have been denying or repressing in the past. So what is that that this person was denying or repressing? Okay, their desire to seize some kind of an opportunity that they'd almost been pretending that they didn't want or didn't desire. So with four of cups reversed, this could be something in their personal life if this is a platonic situation, but if this is romantic, I'm hearing that them reconnecting with their emotions through this dream experience actually has pushed them into the realization that they want to take some kind of a chance or an opportunity with you that they will be in regret about if they don't take. This is dream experience may have actually pushed them into some kind of motivation and helped to pull them out of a period of low energy or stagnation that they'd been experiencing. I feel this person woke up feeling pushed in a new positive direction, pushed to make some kind of positive change in their life, which that positive change with the Ten of Swords may actually be finally leaving a situation once and for all that was very limiting to them, whether that's a location, a job, a thought pattern, or some kind of karmic connection here. This just has the sense of something hitting a dead end, but through that dead end, this person finally being able to seize a new beginning that they'd been secretly or in a repressed way desiring for a really long time but that they're now becoming a lot more conscious about through this dream experience so i will be reshuffling the cards and i want to actually pull a few messages from this person's 
higher self, their 5D self to you. So while I'm shuffling, I also want to share with you my personal most powerful tool for transforming my mindset, reprogramming my own energy, and manifesting in my life. And these are subliminals. Subliminals are audio meditations that contain unconscious spoken affirmations And these affirmations are masked within other sounds, tones, and frequencies, which allows them to bypass the conscious filter of the mind and make deeper, more lasting impressions on the subconscious mind. And this is so powerful because it's actually our subconscious mind that controls 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life. Personally, when I started meditating with subliminals about five years ago, I started seeing huge transformations in my happiness, my confidence, my sense of alignment with my deeper soul purpose, and that began manifesting in so many wonderful different ways in my life. So because I am so passionate about subliminals, I've now created my own library of them, which I am sharing with you through my app sound and soulful as you can see on the screen on this app i have over 130 subliminals for essentially every area of life you can create your own custom private playlist in the app choose from eight different background sound options and you can even read the affirmations while you are listening Specifically for this reading, I would most highly recommend my subliminal for love magnetism because regardless of whether this reading is relating to a romantic situation or not, this is one of my most powerful subliminals for clearing any blockages you may have to unconditional love, helping you magnetize your energetic field for positive attention, positive interaction, and to help you attract the highest vibrational outcomes in love and in your life generally. So this love magnetism subliminal comes from the love and relationships category in my subliminals app, Sound and Soulful, which is linked in the pinned comment and description box underneath the video. When you click on that link, you can create a free trial account in the app and test it out completely free for seven days. So again, all of that information is below. Okay, so let's turn to the Ask Angels deck and get a few final messages from this person's higher self. So how is this person's higher self feeling? You've shown this person that there's something better because we literally got the there's something better card. And so what I'm picking up on is something about you and your energy has opened up a new pathway for this person, something that they never even really would have allowed themselves to desire or want in the past. You've been a deep inspiration to this person in that sense. So if this is romantic, you are the thing that is better in this sense, meaning they may be realizing that the emotions or feelings they're having for you are so far beyond anything that they've ever experienced in karmic relationships or previous connections. And this is really awakening them to what is possible in love and motivating them to want to begin going after that in a stronger way. Now, if this is platonic, it could be that you are inspiring this person to an entirely new life path by opening up their mind to possibilities that they may have never really considered in the past. What other messages are coming from this person's higher self? page of pentacles in the upright position. So I feel that today, as of whenever you are listening to this reading, this person awoke with a newfound desire to set clear goals with themselves and their life personally. Whether this is romantic or platonic, I see them setting their sights on a new vision and beginning to feel a lot of positive motivation and inspiration in that direction. 
I'm also seeing them letting go of patterns of being overly cautious or overly hesitant of taking risks that could actually be really positive for them. I feel like this is someone who may have been risk adverse when it came to following their heart or following their dreams, but you connecting with them in consciousness has really helped to give them that push out of those hesitant patterns with the four of coins upright, what they may have been hesitant about may have involved hesitating to let go of something that really was no longer in alignment with what they really desired. But again, the problem in the past is this is someone who was repressing some of those true soul desires and not even really being honest with themselves about what they wanted until this really powerful dream experience they had with you where they are now really allowing themselves to deeply reconnect with those true emotions with what they are really feeling and desiring at a deeper emotional level. So I am going to pull one final card from the Rumi Oracle to close this reading. Of course, if my energy resonates with you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself, where I post more inspiration and energy updates. Okay, so the Rumi Oracle card to come out here is the human gift. So the guidebook here says, be kind to your heart. You may believe it to be weary from doubt and distrust, so much heartbreak and so many agonies, yet still it beats, still it persists with unquestioning allegiance to life. What a grand heart it is, this sacred heart of yours. Sacred sight is what is behind this oracle for you now, beloved. You are meant to be witnessing something important, something that will make the presence of the divine in your affairs more real to you. It will be something you can come to count on at all times and in that green gain greater peace and the realization that yes, it is safe to trust and surrender. You are or soon will be seeing with greater clarity and insight a situation that has been obscured to you in the past. You may be startled by what you perceive, so much so that you second guess yourself or chalk it up to wild imagination on your part. You are asked to trust in your perceptions that when they come from the heart, although what you perceive may be darkness, there will be no judgment in it. See what is truthfully there. Be in the compassionate nature of your heart, and you shall also be shown the most graceful way to become clear and free of darkness either within yourself or within others and the world around you. So that feels like a beautiful place to close the reading. If you do feel guided to my subliminals app and specifically the Love Magnetism subliminal I recommended for this reading, I will be leaving a link to download my app in the pinned comment and description box underneath this video. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love today. Have a magnificent remainder of your day, and I will connect with you here again in the next video.